Hey, how's it going guys? This is Tyke. You may know me as the guy that does the video work for Driveline Baseball. So today I want to show you guys how to overlay pitches in iMovie. So what you're going to want to do first is go to new, choose movie, choose no theme, and title your movie, your pitcher and the pitches that he's throwing. So today I'm going to be using Trevor Bauer's splitter to fastball overlay. Once you got that, press OK. So now that we're inside of our composition, we're going to want to import some clips. So you're going to want to pull up your finder. And for me, it's going to be fastball one power, fastball two, splitter two, and splitter one. So now that we have our clips in our timeline, this is where we start the overlay. So important thing of shooting the clips is that you want your tripod to be behind your subject, pretty close to him. Want the zoom to be, you know, comparable so you can see the ball flight. And you want to shoot in slow-mo. Now most iPhones shoot in 240 frames a second, which is more than okay. Do not need a fancy camera or a fancy setup. You can find a tripod on Amazon for like 10 to 15 bucks should not be that hard. To start this, we're gonna to wanna to find a point of reference. So what I mean by a point of reference is finding the same point so the clips can be synced up. So usually what I use is right out of the hand release. So what I mean by that is using my arrow, my right arrow to skip through the frames, one by one, right out of the hand, so right there. So to splice a clip, I'm gonna use Command B, cut the clip that way. And we're going to use this clip here. And right out of the hand. So the reason being I chose these two clips is that they both fall the same height. As you can see this fastball, it's about middle up. And the splitter, it also projects to be middle up, but then drops off. So it'll be a really great overlay. Now that we have both of our clips synced to the same spot, I'm gonna take this clip, drag it on top, and then bring this bottom clip all the way back, and then also bring this top clip to the same spot. So now that they're synced up in its full entirety. So now that we have both of the synced clips, we're gonna to want to overlay the top one. We're gonna to go to our video overlay settings right here and use our opacity, which will make the clip on top more see-through so we can see the bottom clip. As you can tell here, we can start to see it. Wanna go right around the middle. You can experiment on your own, but I usually go about 50%. And that should do it for the first clip. As you can tell, skipping through the frames. Pretty good drop off, I'd say, of the splitter to fastball. I thought I'd do one more for you guys with a lower uh, fastball and split overlay. So this fastball was a little bit lower, middle, middle, 94.9, right, right down the middle. And the splitter projects to be about, you know, same height, but a little bit away, and then drops off. So I thought that would be good for here. So what you're going to want to do, same idea, go to out of the hand release. Chop it, right out of the hand release, command B it, drag it on top, bring it back, so they're synced up, and then click on the top clip, go back to video overlay settings, bring the opacity down to 50, or right around the middle, and that should do it. Now that both of our clips are good to go, we're going to export the clips. So we're going to go to File, go to Share, go to another file. And we want to export in the highest quality possible. Overlaying already is kind of tough to see. So having just the highest resolution, uh, preferably 1080p or at least 720p will be good to go. Have the quality on high. Want to click Next. Export it. 
Then we're going to want to go to theater. Click on our clip. And that should do it. If you guys like these kind of tutorials, I'd be more than happy to do it. Uh, shoot some ideas at me in the comment section or at my Twitter handle. I'd be more than happy to answer them or do another tutorial like this. Thanks.